Welcome to our Advent reflection. Um, and the theme for our Advent reflection is longing for light. And this evening we're going to be looking at longing for truth. And if you now have your candle handy and um, we can light it and the words are there, which you can say if you want to. And as you're muted, I probably won't hear, so that's fine. <laughs> in the darkness of winter, in the darkness of unknowing, in the darkness of our worldly confusion, we light a candle for truth. Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Shine your truth in our hearts, in your church, and in the world today, we pray. Amen. I'm going to now listen to the song, Christ Be Our Light. And I hope everybody will be able to hear it. Truth we turn to you, 
longing for light. And this is the verse that we're looking at particularly. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people, light for the world to see. Two Bible passages for us to think about. And the first one is from John chapter 18, when Jesus has been arrested and tried by the Jewish courts and sent to Pilate. Pilate then went back inside the palace, summoned Jesus and asked him, are you the king of the Jews? Is that your own idea, Jesus asked, or did others talk to you about me? Am I a Jew? Pilate replied. Your own people, the chief priests, handed you over to me. What is it that you have done? Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jewish leaders. But now my kingdom is from another place. You are a king then, said Pilate. Jesus answered, you say that I am a king. In fact, the reason I was born and came into the world is to testify to the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. What is truth? retorted Pilate. With this, he went out again to the Jews, gathered there and said, I find no basis for a charge against him. The second reading is also from St. John's Gospel. where Jesus is speaking to his disciples. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house, it has many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The truth shall set you free. And I'm now going to hopefully give you the reflection. Okay. We live in a very confusing world where no one seems to speak the truth. All speak from their own perspective and for their own ends, whether they're politicians, scientists, business leaders, or even children. And we are not immune from twisting the truth ourselves, but truth is a rare and precious gift. When Pilate asked his question, what is truth? There it was, standing in front of him, Jesus, the way, the truth and the life. But truth is scary. The light of truth shows us who we truly are, warts and all. Not the persona we present to the world, nor our public face, but the secret us, 
that even we don't like to admit to. But Jesus desires truth in our innermost hearts. Are we prepared to let him shine the light of his love into our hearts and uncover, uncover the true us? We will know the truth and the truth <coughs> set us free. We come now to our closing prayer. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people, light for the world to see. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church gathered today. Amen. <laughs>